Hi everybody, it's Lori Helvick here and I'm bringing you another episode of my Monday Make It, Send It videos. And today I'm featuring this card and I've made this one ahead of time and I'm going to make another one just like this tonight in front of you folks and then on Tuesday I will send these out to two of my stamping friends. So that's what my Monday um, Make It, Send It video is all about. When you make a card, you need to send it. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started and I've got my color palette here so I used Mossy Meadow, Whisper White, Rich Razzleberry, and Mint Macaron and the um, card, I'm going to bring it up a little closer here, this green piece, the Mossy Meadow piece, I used the uh, rectangle stitched dies you can see that I, I cut that with the stitching around the edges there and this card actually uh, was one of my make and takes at my uh, Hawaiian luau that I had a few weeks back in Peoria to celebrate my um, my very first incentive trip that I earned. So I invited some some customers and some friends and um, thanked them for all of their support this last year. And uh, this was one of the cards they got to make at my party. So anyway, I wanted to go with a tropical theme. And so I used the uh, Pop of Petals. And uh, I used a lot of these different, well, I, I stuck with this flower right here, but then I used a lot of the other images also. And this piece right here, I wanted to point this out to you. This actually comes together, three flowers in one image, but I actually took mine apart. I'm going to show you why here in a minute. You know, it's my stamp set. I can kind of cut them apart if I want to, right? And you can do this with yours too. So the three different flowers... I uh, thought that they would be more useful separated. And so I did not use this one so we can get rid of it for this particular card. And then these two, I'm just gonna put on a block. And, whoops, show you what I did with these two. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with these, uh, all these green images. I used Mossy, or excuse me, Mint Macaron on all of these. And I've got a collage set up on my on my block if you will so all of these four images I put on the block uh, a certain way and then when I stamped them on the card I just turned them opposite so I stamped one image like this and then I turned this block around and then I stamped the other image like that so it's just kind of the set of four is the same on the left and the right side so I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by that so here's my piece of whisper white and my mint macaron. Okay, so we are gonna go once like this. Kind of off the edge of the page, doesn't matter. Kind of like so. Okay, and then we're going to I might have stamped off on this. See how this is a little lighter? It's been a while since I've made this, but I think I stamped off on this and made it a uh, lighter green, but mine's gonna be full strength on here, which that's okay too. So one card's just gonna be a little darker than the other, but we won't care about that. So then, I'm, like I said, I just turned this around and ran this off the edge a little bit, like so. Okay, so I'm going to use um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece of white on my Mossy Meadow. So I've got my adhesive here buried somewhere. Here we go. So I hope you had a good Monday. It was a little chilly here. Uh, here in central Illinois, we had a beautiful day on Sunday, yesterday. And then today, of course, I was back to work and it was a cool cool and uh gray we'll just we'll just leave it at that it was just cool and gray today not very pretty but um i guess we got spoiled by that nice day yesterday so anyway there's that and then i'm going to add uh this image if you can see this one right here i'm going to add that and i'm going to use the mossy meadow so which is a little darker shade of green for that and I'm going to stamp two of those. Okay, there's no rhyme or reason to this. We're just going to stamp it in between these two, maybe. 
like so. And then we're going to stamp another one over here off this direction a little bit like that. And then I'm going to color in. I've got my rich Razzleberry uh, stamp and blend. So I love these blends. If you know me, you know that I don't like to color and I, you know, I just am not good at it. So, but these Stampin' Blends, I tell you what, something about these things and they can even make a bad color or do something good. So I'm just gonna color in real quickly with this Razzleberry and color in these little, whatever kind of flowers these are. And I should have had this done ahead of time because you really don't want to watch me color. But that's okay. I wanted to stamp them in front of you, so all's good. Okay, so we got Rich Wildsberry, add a little color, and our flowers that I'm going to punch out here in a minute, they will be Rich Wildsberry as well. So there's that. All right, so now we're going to do our, use the ink pad and do, oh goodness, this is stiff. There we got it. Okay, so I'm going to do this flower and I've got a scrap piece of white and I'm going to stamp one flower on there and then I'm going to stamp these two little ones that I cut apart, cut those in rich, or stamp those in rich razzleberry as well and put them on my scrap piece of white like so. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna use our punches. So I have the half inch circle punch, and I'm actually, I could fussy cut these, but I don't want to. So I had the girls at my luau party. It was just easier for them to punch and punch and be done. So it doesn't get all the flower, of course, but you get the idea with just those circles. So that's kind of cute and way easier than everybody having to fussy cut those. And then we're gonna use the coordinating punch that goes with the pop of petals. And we're going to punch this baby out. Voila. Okay. So what else we've got going on? Oh, this little strip of um, green paper is from the Garden Lane Designer Paper Pack. And I am going to glue that on. See all these unfinished edges right here? You look at that and you say, oh, look what Lori's done. That's kind of a mess. Well, part of it's gonna be covered up with a strip and part of those ends will be covered up with the flowers and the leaves. So you'll see about that when I get all and everything's all said and done here. But meanwhile, I'm gonna put adhesive on here. Like so. Put this on my paper and cover up, like I said, the most of these funky, funky edges will be covered and we can fix everything else. So it's all good. Kind of center this a little bit from left to right, and that'll be that. Okay, so then we're going to put this on our card base. It's just a standard size piece of cardstock with the thick white, thick white and scored in the middle, and then we're going to glue all of this on our card base. Oh, I wonder why my snail wasn't making noise. I like it when it makes that noise. It's kind of funny, the things we get a chuckle out of, you know? The snail runner. All right, so then we're going to put this on here. And then I'm also going to use the, um, thank you, I'm gonna leave the words off of this. I can always put something else on here, but I used especially for you on the card I made ahead. And then I'm gonna leave this blank. I can always put hello or, you know, um, enjoy your day or something like that up in the corner. So that's gonna be blank for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue dots on my little circles here. Oh, 
okay. Where's my little, oh, there they are. I was gonna say, I was just gonna be real prepared and have everything over here, and I found my glue dots. So all is well. Put that on there. Cover up our little ends. And then I got the leaf punch and I'm just gonna cut out out of the Mossy Meadow scrap. I'm gonna do one leaf and then I'm actually gonna cut these apart. So I'm going to cut, uh, use part of it one spot and part of it in another spot like so. And then I'm gonna use this little one, put a glue dot on there. Do, 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 Okay, glue dot on our leaf, and I'm going to tuck it under here. Hopefully I didn't glue that down too much. So one leaf is going to go there like that, and then we're going to attach these leaves to my flower, and I'm going to use, uh, let's see, I'm going to use dimensionals. Maybe I cut these apart too. I think I did. I wanted these leaves spread out a little more, so that's what I did. I'm gonna put dimensionals behind here and put this on here. There, voila. So I've got my dimensionals and I'm gonna put my flower Cover up a few of these other edges here, like so. Okay, so we are done. So this is the card I made ahead of time, and this was the sample that we used at the Luau. It says, especially for you, and here's the second card that I made right now. And our two count cards are ready to mail on Tuesday. So uh, look out in the mailbox. You never know who's going to get one of these. It might be a surprise for um, two lucky people to get these in the mail. So I do appreciate you stopping by. And don't forget, if you are uh, on Facebook and you have the access to that, I do do Facebook Live videos. So uh, the next one, well, I do them actually every Friday. So my... Um, Lola, my black lab, will pick out a card on Friday morning, and then at Friday night, I feature that card in a video. So look out for my Facebook Live, and you can like my Facebook page. It's called Lori's Stampin' Creations. And I appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you next Monday. Have a good night.